you get to stay up a little later. Hooray! Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the moments when the Healer family truly connected with their audience, mimicked real life, or acknowledged that they're cartoon dogs. That sounds like hard work. How so? Number 10, Bandit's Stage Directions. It's just another day in the Healer home. Bluey and Bingo are playing when suddenly Bandit enters the room and says, unprovoked, Dad enters the room. His family probably just sees it as him being his usual goofy self, but viewers can recognize he's reading his stage directions from the script. We can't help but ponder what made Bandit decide to say his intro cue out loud. It means I've been around long enough to know exposing my rear end to you isn't a good idea. Was it to help him remember? Or did he just want to make a big entrance to make sure that everyone was paying attention? Either way, it got a giggle out of us, and it was nice of him to help us keep track of what was going on. Yeah! Oh man, is it too late to bend over? Number 9. Hooray! When something good or exciting happens in the show, the characters often throw their hands in the air and exclaim Hooray! in delight. It's become a fun running gag and staple for the series, but if you look closely, it doubles as a fourth wall break. Hooray! This word being excitedly shouted is typically accompanied by at least one of the characters looking towards the camera, possibly encouraging the viewers to cheer with them. Hooray! It's a small detail, but once you notice it, it's hard to forget and will hopefully inspire the audience to join in and match the cast's enthusiasm. It works! Hooray! Number 8. Product placement? Oh, good, because this is actually embarrassing. Bluey, Bingo, and Bandit are finishing their shopping at the supermarket, but look closely at one of the shelves as they pass through the toy section. You might notice something eerily familiar about two of the playsets for sale. The box art for these looks almost exactly like the Healer House, and there's even a little figurine of what looks like Bluey on display. Did the show sneak in one of their real-life playsets into the episode? Just check it a bit closer. Bye! This wouldn't be the last time they did this, as they put one of their books into the background in the quiet game. If this is Bluey's version of product placement, we can respect their subtlety. How did it get in there? Number 7. Did Bluey age? Bandit wants to teach Bluey how to play chess, but Chili thinks their daughter isn't old enough for that quite yet. And so probably a bit old for Bluey, right? When Bluey says how old she is, Bandit asks the following in amazement. Are you still six? Wow. On the surface, this is just the dad being cheeky. But when you think about it, we're on season three at this point and Bluey is still six? It's an age-old cartoon trope. Kid characters often don't age until the plot demands it but to see Bluey acknowledge the trope and call it out is remarkable. I'm almost seven. Well, I reckon that's old enough. Thankfully, this doesn't last as we see Bluey celebrating her birthday later on. Mighty's Bath Rules! Number six, Bandit is his own worst enemy. I ain't going nowhere until your mom and I are together. Hooray! Oh, man. It looks like it's going to be another day of chaos in the Healer yeah. household, with Bandit acting as unicorns for the kids. You know what, kids? Don't listen to unicorns. What? Anticipating the hilarity, the dad kind of turns to us and admits that he does this to himself. The thing is, I'll do this to myself. Consider the madness that unfolds whenever Bandit takes part in the girls' games, usually at his own expense. No one's telling him to jump through hoops the whole time, but he adorably does it anyway for the entertainment of his kids. Still, it's nice of him to reach out to viewers, and himself, and admit that he's his own worst enemy. Bandit is a trooper for that alone. Number 5. Confusion It seems like now and then, something occurs that's too confusing for even the Healer gang. <laughs> the parents could be confused by their kids' games or strange questions. Conversely, the kids could be puzzled by their peers' weird actions or random mumblings. Yum, 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 yum. Did she say she's a llama? When this happens, the perplexed individual's reaction is often to glance at the audience. It's hard to tell if they're sharing our own looks of confusion, or if they're hoping that we'll have the answers to what's going on. Ah, okay. Night, night. Sorry to say, healers and company, but if you don't know, we definitely don't either. Still, we can't deny the reactions are amusing. Number 4. It was the rug, by the way. When Bingo gets an episode all to herself, she has trouble finding something to play on her own. Yeah. 
this won't work. She tries I Spy at one point, but realizes it's not exactly a one-person game. She then looks directly into the camera and tells us, It was rugged, by the way. We love that Bingo took the time to tell us what was on her mind. It's too bad that as viewers, we couldn't help her with her loneliness, but at least she ultimately learned to make her own fun. Still, we'd do anything to properly play a full game of I Spy with her one day. Mm, that's it, Bridge, I'm leaving. Number 3. Cartoon Dog While putting a swing together, Chili is reading instructions featuring a cartoon dog. Bandit just shrugs them off, saying, I'm not taking advice from a cartoon dog. Who's going to tell him? The irony of him saying this while he himself is a cartoon dog is hilarious alone, but it doubles as a nod to the show's audience. While Bluey is primarily marketed to kids, parents and other viewers find themselves taking cues from the healers and gaining helpful tips and insights. To bring the point home, Bandit and Chili end up following the illustration's directions, and it works. So take that, Bandit. You should take advice from animated pooches. Ah, this is heaven. Number 2. Title Card Mistakes and Changes This episode of Bluey is called Hairdressers. In a way, having the title cards read aloud counts as a fourth wall break since it involves the character saying the episode's name. This episode of Bluey is now called Knits. However, now and then, the title drops don't always go as planned. One character could give up reading it altogether. I don't know what that says, I can't read! Or someone could change the episode's name at the drop of a hat. Along with being a hilarious break in the routine, these little twists imply that the healers are conscious that they're in a cartoon. Regardless, it's nice to hear they're always eager to read the episode titles for their younger audiences, even if they don't always get it right. This episode of Bluey is called I Forget. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Interrupted title card. Bandit steps in to get out of playing a game. This episode of Bluey is called Tick. Uh uh, no way. I am not playing Tickle Crabs. Leela and the audience. Leela tells us about how she met Bingo. Me three! Because that was the first time I met Bingo. Batman. Apparently, the Dark Knight exists in Bluey. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batman wheel lost the wheel, the Joker got away. Hey! The Wiggles. The real life group make a cameo in dog form. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bluey the Puppet It's bedtime for Bluey after a whole day of playing with unicorns. The outrageous puppet asks Bluey if she's a puppet. How can you be sure you're not a puppet? Which the young girl just laughs off. <laughs> Don't be silly. However, that night, Bluey has a strange dream. A time lapse where the episode's final scene is fully rigged, animated, and rendered right before the final product plays. To her, it's just a strange dream. But to us, it's a fun look into the process of bringing the healer's adventures to life. It makes us appreciate how much effort is put into the show's production. But let's not tell Bluey that it wasn't a dream. We're not sure she's ready to learn that she really is a puppet of sorts. Wow, that was a weird dream. What do you think was the most wackadoo fourth wall break? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> it's a long story. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.